Hello there. Welcome back. Another big thank you for appreciating my work. It keeps me motivated to work even harder. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and share the videos with your friends and families. Thank you. Today we'll talk about some more ways our body reacts in different situations. So let's get started with why part 2. Number 1. Why do we hiccup? It's a common phenomena and can start literally any time and sometimes exactly when we don't want it to. Hiccups occur in all the mammals and animals. It's a two-way process. When we breathe in, the air hits the voice box and the vocal cords suddenly close. And there's a hiccup. It's a known fact that the infants hiccup the most as it's said to help them burp and prevent vomit. Even the fetuses hiccup in the womb itself. It's believed to be natural breathing exercise for them to be prepared for breathing once born. The reason behind your hiccups can be eating very dry, quickly or too much at a time. Other than this, sudden changes in the temperatures of surroundings, irritation in the throat, gas in the stomach, feeling nervous, excited or stressed, having carbonated drinks or some allergic food. To stop the hiccups, you can try a jump scare or pulling hard on your tongue. You can even try holding your breath for a while. Number 2 why do we yawn is the most common uncontrollable and contagious action of body which everybody does including animals watching anyone yawn or even thinking of one can make us yawn just imagine how much did i yawn while making this and watching all these yawning people when bored or tired the brain isn't simulating and we don't breathe as deeply taking less oxygen so yawning helps us bring more oxygen to the lungs and tissues to stretch and hence force the blood towards the brain making us a little alert another theory says yawning happens less in winters as is related to the temperature of the brain when we're tired it gets a little higher and we yawn to cool it down we shouldn't resist a yawn as the body needs it to wake itself up to stop it from happening at a particular time we can get moving stretching deep breathing a little exercise or try to cool ourselves down <laughs> try taking a selfie while yawning it's so much fun Number 3 why do we shiver our body is planned to act involuntarily in some occasions like sweating to cool itself down and shivering when it's cold it's a process of muscles tightening and relaxing rapidly when the body feels cold and tries to warm itself up it can occur even after anesthesia low sugar level viral or bacterial infections to warm your body up a little to kill the virus or bacteria that has invaded your system just like fever fear or spike in the adrenaline level in your blood stream can also make you shiver another factor is that an infant can't shiver because of cold as they have another system just like hibernating animals survive and warm themselves up in winters number 4 why do we itch a woman had such an itchy head that she scratched through her brain It's a general sensation arising from the irritation of skin cells. It can be really irritating and annoying at the same time. Skin is the only part of body which feels both pain and itch. Itching is a skin sensation which can be caused by both outer or inner reasons like allergies or skin irritations caused of certain kinds of clothes, dry skin, reaction of something, sunburn or insect bite etc. The pain from scratching makes the body release the pain fighting chemical serotonin which can make the skin even itchier and this is the reason why we feel scratchier when we itch and itchier when we scratch. Whatever it may be it's really important for us not to scratch too much as it can make us feel anxious, stressed and is harmful for the skin as well. Never use the fingernails. Instead, rub, pat, tap or tightly hold the itchy skin. or very gently pinch be careful of what you eat and wear and save yourself from sharp sun rays take care of your skin keep it moisture and you can even take a quick shower so five why do we sleep walk and talk we've either seen someone or done that ourselves generally kids go around walking in sleep they can even roam around room to room just to find themselves in an entirely different room when they wake up people can talk without making sense i remember my brother throwing balls and solving maths problem in his sleep It can be a genetic disorder usually happens when a person is going from a deep sleep to a lighter one or when someone has a chaotic sleep schedule noisy or uncomfortable sleep environment or they are stressed drunk overly tired or sleep deprived very common in children between 4 to 12 years but adult sleepwalking can be a sign of poor mental condition 
Many people can talk, sit up in bed and repeat a motion, urinate anywhere or walk up to kitchen and snack. Changing the lifestyle, sticking to a sleep schedule, relaxing bedtime routine and stop or restrict alcohol or drugs can help big time. If you have sleepwalkers around you, it's very important to create safe environment like lock the doors and windows, move the sharp objects, install gates at the top of the stairs, move any unsafe stuff cause they can eat or drink anything which can be really dangerous. If you like the content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is out. Thank you. Number 6. Why do we snore? Snoring is a household problem. It's irritating and annoying and extremely embarrassing while traveling. It's been one of the biggest reasons for divorce all over the world. As shown in the picture, during sleep, gravity and muscle relaxation allows the tongue and surrounding soft tissues to fall back into the throat area, obstructing airflow. Extra fats around the neck or shape of the nose and jaws can also be a reason. Other than this, smoking, drinking alcohol, being overweight, seasonal allergies, sinus congestions, respiratory infections, food allergies, eating too close to bedtime, chronic mouth breathing or certain medication can also be good. Try using a pillow of different shape and keeping yourself hydrated can help. There are many small tools available in the market nowadays to prevent snoring but personally I won't suggest any of them as many studies have shown that they don't really work. Instead, try some home remedies like using honey, cinnamon, lavender, garlic, mint tea, milk with turmeric, almonds. Try to have an open nasal passage and try losing some weight and maintain hygiene. Changing the sleeping position will definitely work. Sleeping on your back can worsen the snoring as the jaw recedes and the tongue compresses the upper airway. So sleeping on the side is the best option as it reduces the compression. Sleeping upside down can do wonders as well if you can do without a pillow. As otherwise the posture may cause back pain. Due Number 7. Why do we have wisdom teeth? The only thing I remember about wisdom teeth is the pain. And I still remember my mom telling me to behave maturely after having one, which I couldn't do. And I used to wonder what a tooth has to do with me being wise. They are the third set of molars in the back of our mouth that helped our human ancestors as they had tougher diets to digest. They used to have larger jaws with more teeth to chew. Now the food has become softer to chew because of cooking, so the wisdom teeth aren't of a great importance anymore. They may eventually entirely vanish in the future generation. These teeth erupt earlier in the Africans than the Asians and the Europeans. Mostly they come in the age of 17 to 21 which is also in general the age when a person matures and so they are called the wisdom teeth. But if they don't, then they come late around in your 80s. Some people can have all four and some don't have any at all. Pain a lot as they break through the gum. It's not at all compulsory to remove them until they grow at a wrong position causing decay, cavity or gum disease as there is a lack of space between them. Number 8. Why are we colorblind? Can you recognize all the colors and differentiate between all their shades? Being colorblind is an extremely common trait. There are many online tests. Take one and see for yourself. It's a genetic condition you're born with. It's caused by a difference in how your light sensitive cells called cones respond to certain colors. They actually sense the wavelengths of light and help the person distinguish between colors. This difference in sensitivity in one or more cones can make a person colorblind. You know you are colorblind when you can't differentiate between colors or you can't see the tints and tones of a color. More than 300 million people in the world are colorblind. Color blind color blindness is more common in men than women. All babies are born colorblind. They develop the color vision in 6 months. It's possible to be colorblind in one eye and have normal vision in the other eye. Number 9. Why do we dream? Everyone dreams. They can be exciting, irritating, scary, inspiring, creative, romantic or sometimes totally annoying. Dreams are the stories and images that our brain creates while sleeping. They reflect unconscious mental functions. They may also be the representation of our unconscious desires or wishes. What goes through the mind just before we sleep or the thoughts which have been there in the mind for the whole day can influence the dreams. Lucid dreaming is when the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming. Nightmares are distressing dreams causing the dreamer to feel emotions of fear and anxiety. We can remember the entire dream or a part of it or can entirely forget it as well. Generally, we forget 95% of the dreams. Factually, blind people dream more. Number 10. Why does the skin shrink in water? 
the best thing in summers is being at the beach or in the pool or water park with friends but then the skin gets wrinkly only in like few minutes as a child i used to think water destroyed my skin some people think that it happens cause of pores of skin absorb water and so it looks soggy one other theory says it's because of osmosis as water moves in and out of the skin cells making it look wrinkly Unlike the rest of our body, the palms, fingertips, soles and toes have a skin known as the glabrous skin which has unique response to being in water as they get wrinkles for a better grip. Some believe that the wrinkles act like the rain treads which channel the water away from the fingers and toes during wet conditions for a better grip like tiny manual river drainage system. In simple words the body doesn't want to leave its grip cause of being in water so the brain signals the skin to change itself from smooth to wrinkly it becomes normal as soon as it's out of water if you like the video please subscribe and watch more informative videos which are coming up soon and there are already few available on my channel